بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقهوا قولي السلام عليكم hi guys uh, today i'm going to give introduction of polymetron 8810 orp online analyzer this analyzer has ability to perform many type of uh, chemical analysis uh, like concent concentration of calcium nitrate ammonia and many more uh, you can refer to 8810 instructional manual for more detail for what purpose is it can be used uh, but i will discuss uh, 8810 rp especially to measure calcium concentration in a running stream of potable water this analyzer is it is uh, reliable in term of analysis it has plus minus 2 to 4 percent uh, ac accuracy but uh, it is not durable uh, in term of some component like uh, electrodes like pump tubes uh, this we will discuss later regarding durability issue another thing we have to keep in mind in chemical lab uh, usually we are using a manual method of method of titration to measure the concentration of calcium analyzer it is same like photometric uh, titration method but in double eight one zero orp on online analyzer it utilizes potentiometric titration method and uh, you can rely on uh, its reading it can it, its repeatability is very good uh, better than manual uh, titration okay guys now we see the main components of this analyzer this is analyzer cabinet inside cabinet it is electronic controller with dual display one for reading and second for analyzer menu and status display currently on value display it is showing last titration result in menu display it is showing unit of concentration which is milligram and the status of analyzer or sequence mode of analyzer now it is showing fixed time which mean it will give you titration result after decided period of time we set this time to 15 minutes display menu can be changed with these key buttons this is select key this is enter key this is alarm alarm acknowledge key up up key and down key you can use up and down key to scroll through menu this is sample chamber or reactor chamber or reactor vessel with two type of electrode one we call reference electrode model polymetron 8483b actually it is ph reference sensor i know you're confused we have to use orp reference sensor or orp reference electrode why we are using ph reference electrode i'll tell you because we are we are measuring calcium in potable water so you know in potable water usually we are dosing chlorine if we use ORP electrode it is so sensitive to the chlorine and it show very high reading when it detects chlorine so you cannot able to do titration with ORP reference electrode to avoid this issue we are using pH reference electrode in this case we use millivolt value of ph reference electrode we don't care about the ph reading for us only millivolt reading required to do our titration second electrode is calcium ion selective electrode manufactured by metler toledo model dx240 this is sprinkler to rinse reactor chamber and both electrodes before and after analysis you can use demineralized water or deionized water for this purpose on the back side of the reactor chamber this is overflow tube beside overflow tube this is siphon tube it is used to adjust sample volume accurately 
the distance between mouth of overflow tube and siphon should be more than 2 cm if you want that siphon work properly. Between overflow tube and siphon tube this is level sensor which ensure the proper level in reactor chamber. This is stirrer or mixer to mix reagent properly during titration. Top side of reactor chamber there is stirrer motor. This is vent line of reactor chamber. It is required if reactor all ports tightly close. Drain wall for rinsing reactor chamber with both electrodes for flushing of inlet sample and of course drain any chemical before and after titration. These two are reagent pumps. These could be peristatic or micro piston pumps. In this case these are peristatic pumps. One is conditioner pump to inject conditioner. Second is titrant pump to inject titrant for titration. This is pump cassette with Tigon tube with grey grey specification. I will show this tube. This is Tigon grey grey tube. This tube has two sections and we can use this tube two time. Life of one section is four weeks. After four weeks change the section of tube and after 8 weeks or approximately 2 months you need to change complete tube. Now we see what is back side of this panel. Open the panel plate by unscrewing this knob. Open slowly and carefully because there are sample water, deionized water and pneumatic air connections which can be disconnected. Back side there are motor box of peristatic pump. This is terminal box. This is cleaning pump. Downside. Downside you can see two solenoid valve. One to operate sample valve. The sample valve is air operated valve. This pneumatic valve we are using to get sufficient flow of sample. Second solenoid valve used to operate sprinkler to rinse reactor chamber and electrodes by using deionized water or demineralized water. This is back side of electronic controller. There is detail of different types of connections which shows you how you can connect different components of analyzer and output of analyzer. This is nameplate detail of electronic controller. These are the reagents and cleaning solution. For this we will discuss later. Ok guys, hope you understand something about the basic components of this analyzer. It is beginning, be patient, remain, remain with me, we will meet you again on the next part of this analyzer, how to configure and how, how to set up the analyzer for starting operation. Thank you very much.